Here's hoping you'll never have to. But just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. The jack, spare tire, and laminated instruction sheet are stowed in the rear cargo area under the load floor. Use the hook to hold the load floor up and out of the way. Remove the jacking tools and the wing nut securing the spare tire. Now you can remove the spare tire. Now loosen, but do not remove the wheel bolts by turning them to the left one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the ignition is off, the hazard lights are on, and the parking brake is fully set. Blocking both the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. If changing the right front tire, block the left rear tire. Place the jack underneath the lift area that is closest to the flat tire. The front locations are outlined by two triangular cutouts. The rear locations by two rectangular cutouts. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Now you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the right. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the wheel bolts and wheel. Remove the alignment pin from the jack assembly and thread the pin into the wheel hub to assist in mounting the spare tire. Position the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the wheel bolts and lightly tighten them clockwise. Now it's safe to remove the alignment pin. Then, turn the jack screw to the left to lower the vehicle and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the wheel bolts. Alternate wheel bolts until each one has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the wheel bolts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by your authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, just secure the tire, jack, and tools in their proper locations. Remove blocks from the wheels, and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.